Hello my beautiful bitters and welcome to my channel and today I finally decided to get a start on my project T again. I failed to do updates last year and for the new year starting in February or the end of January I want to work through my teas before I buy more. I've just been having a hankering to buy tea, but I realize I'm like, I have so much, and I guarantee if I totaled it all up, I'd be shocked. So let's go through my teas that I have. I have four things of the powdered matcha. I have this one, which is brand spanking new. Um, I figured out with the grams, and I use about two grams every cup for all of my teas. So that's how I'm figuring out a lot of my loose leaf teas, how many cups of, of tea I have. So this has 100 grams, so I'm saying there's 50 cups of matcha in this pouch. This one's my favorite matcha, is this Legend Organic one. This one is so good, and I've gone through a lot of this, but I have, I want to say, about 30 cups left in here. This is my least favorite one, but I am halfway through it. So I want to say I have 15 cups left of this. I have this brand new pumpkin matcha one that I would love to try out. And I'm assuming that I have about 40 cups of matcha in here. Oh, these totals add up right quick. <laughs> I have some Korean loose leaf green tea. There's two packages in here. There's one brand new one and then one that I've been working through. So the brand new one has about 28 cups in it and then my other one has about 15 cups. I measured it all by grams and then figured it out. But I love this packaging. Oh my goodness. So it has the box and then you open it up and then you have this container and then you open it up again and you have ah, the two packets of the loose leaf green tea. And they also have a, a little packet of your little tea pouches as well in here. So I would like to get through this. This takes up a lot of room up in my cabinet. So I'm pretty sure if I get rid of the box, that would be better. But um, I kind of use the box for storing stuff on top of it up in my cabinet. Then I have two of these uh, Montana Tea and Spice Trading Company. I love this company and I always go and buy new stuff every time. Here's a new bag of Caribbean chai and I have about 42 cups left in there. Here's another one of Nutmeg Spice and I have about the same amount of cups in this one as well, measuring by weight. I have two of these full leaf tea at Co's. I have purchased this several times. The masala chai is so, so, so good. But I've drank, this is my second one, and so I've gone through this one. So this one I have 21 cups. In this orange cinnamon spice, I have about 50 cups left in there. They are so aromatic. They're just wonderful. I love these teas. So this is definitely stuff that I would repurchase. Now I have this little tower and I don't have any of these teas left in here, but I do have some loose ones that I stored in there. This is a rose one that I got from the Montana Tea and Spice Company. I don't have much left of this, so I would like to use it up. I want to save about four cups of, of that left in there. And then in this top one, Yerba Citrus in here from the Montana Tea and Spice. This one's really good as well, and I will definitely repurchase this one. So of the um, Yerba, I have about five cups left in there. Then I have this Teamy Skinny. I would actually like to drink this today, so I opened it up, but I haven't gotten anything out of it. I brewed my water. It's all ready to go. I just have to add this. So this I have about 33 cups of tea in this thing. Then I have this Tea's Tea. I love Tea's Tea. And I thought I had purchased one more, but I can't find it. If I find it, I'll just add it to the bottom and then we'll just update the totals when I do my next update. So this one's the Pumpkin Spice, the Black Tea Blend. These are so yummy. I may have drank all the other one up. That's probably what I did. So I probably just drank it all up 
probably why I couldn't find it. But these teas, teas are so, so, so yummy. So that's everything in these little pouches and such, which is a lot, I have to say. With all of these. So then I have, oh, these two as well. And then I have this thing back in here. There's some cider in here as well. I have four Sleepy Time Teas left. This is one that I was trying to get used up because I had a lot of them. So I'd like to get that used up. So there's four in there. I have 40 of these green tea pouches. Now this was in a big box. So, and it was, it had a hundred green tea pouches in there. They're from the Dollar Tree, but fair warning, it is very bland. So if you don't like strong green tea, buy the, this brand at the Dollar Tree. The box looks like this. And it comes with 100 tea bags. Well, I have 40 tea bags left, but what I do is I grab two bags because I like a stronger green tea every time. So there's 40 cups of 40 of these left. Even if I use two at a time, I'm still going to count them as individual. And then we go in here and we have some ginger aid, and I have six of these. I have 12 of these lemon ones. I have one English breakfast, one raspberry royale, I have fifth, no, where do I have this? Green tea. I have six of these ones, these decaffeinated ones, I can drink them at night. Then I have four of these apple and cinnamon, but I have a couple different brands. I have the tea vibe, which is found at the Dollar Tree. And then I have these Cranberry Apple Jubilee Herb Teas. So I have four of these. And then, last but not least, I have three of these Mixed Berry Green Teas. So, when you total all of that up, all of this, all of that, I have, I wrote it all down. I wrote the grams, you know, the packaging of the grams and how much the, gr the contents were, and then I kind of approximated the cups. So my grand total is 400, come on, focus, 472 cups of tea that I'm, I want to try to get through. So I've got my work cut out for me. So wish me luck. If anybody else wants to join me in this adventure, just let me know. I will add you to the description box below. So definitely check out the description box if you're interested in more people doing these project teas. I've done this. This will be like my third year doing my project tea. So I've definitely accumulated a lot of tea since then because I had a foreign exchange student, my Italian girl, she loved tea. She really loved this Marsala chai, which is why I went through two of these. Um, but yeah, she loved tea, so I kept buying new stuff for us to try and, and drink together. That was kind of our little thing to do. Um, my Chinese girl that I have in my home, she likes green tea, so she'll brew up a like five of these pouches and then add some milk and some sugar and that's what they do in China. So every once in a while she'll make me one of those. She makes just a big batch of it for everybody and it's so yummy. Um, I don't like to drink it all the time because it has that extra sugar and I don't like to add any sweeteners to my teas or coffees. And guys, I have not brewed a pot of coffee since... December. Are you guys proud of me? Yesterday I broke down and I got myself a, a Starbucks tea and that was the first Starbucks tea that I've had or Starbucks coffee that I've had since Black Friday. So I'm so very proud of myself. I want to just continue with my weight loss journey and I think sitting down and just drinking unsweetened teas all day long will help with that because I'm getting my water intake. I'm also getting a little bit of energy from the tea. I do have some, you know, caffeine free stuff in this pouch here. So if I don't want to get, if I start getting jittery, I'll switch to that. But yeah, wish me luck guys. I would love for other people to join me in this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.